Hey, clickety clackers! Crazy Wayne Sleepy are making a Gmail video. And Kevin Cash is a uh, just chilling around his house. Hello, Bertram. Hello, sir. You look a lot like that Thomas guy. You know that? Well, we are twins. What? But one of you is British and the other is not. I understand that. But well, how does that make any sense? It, well, my parents got divorced. Th th what? That doesn't matter. That doesn't. That does not mean that one of you shouldn't be. What? My parents got divorced. No, I don't want to know. Uh, have you seen my wife? I don't believe I have, sir. Wow, Bertram. Oh. You're useless. Right, oh, sir. Well, if you don't mind me, I'm going to have to go fix the toilets. Why did you have a knife? <laughs> this no is one. a wrench, sir. Oh, well, you have fun. Hey, Laura. Hey, did you uh did you tell Juliet she had to cut her hair, stop dyeing it, and stop wearing contacts? Indeed, I did, sir. She Indeed. responded quite well to it. Oh, it's cause she's not a disobedient shit like Max. Precisely. Hey, how was Max in the trench? He was adequate, I would suppose. <laughs> One pop up from his head, and he'd be headless for the rest of his life. But of course, that is to be expected of someone who's never dug a trench before. Good heavens, look you kids better be behaving, Juliet, Max. Don't look at me like that, Juliet. I don't care that you're not wearing contacts or dying here anymore. No more edgy teens. We have a very proper etiquette to keep up. I believe it's time for dinner, sir. I don't wanna uh, but then I have to get my my kids to come downstairs and that's so much work. Why is my wife in the corner? That's actually kinda creepy as shit. <laughs> it's not my place to judge. I love you, baby. So, uh, what you gonna make for dinner, Bertram? I have already made a delicious pie for dessert, but I don't really know what I'm going to do for dinner. Perhaps a nice salmon would be wonderful. Parrot with a nice shibboleth. I'm oh, sorry, I didn't mean to hit you with this. Quite alright. I've been hit with a lot worse. So a bit, uh, um, Bertram. Don't you <laughs> dare call me that battle-brain <laughs> fool. Listen, I was talking to them a little bit ago. I'm so, cuz I apologize for your brain cells that you've lost. They were here, they were here asking, well, the one was Biff was here asking for a raise even though I don't directly pay him. Like as if paying their house off and paying all their taxes isn't enough. And of course you told him no and killed him, didn't you? Well, I didn't kill him, but I did tell him no. Then you're a fool, sir. Well, I wasn't. I didn't want to get blood. The sheets were just changed. I suppose that's true. And th do you know how mad Lara would be if I got blood all over the sheets? Unfortunately, yes. It's the same thing whenever my husband yells at me. Hmm. What's your husband's name? Again? Marcus. What? Marcus. Why is everybody's Marcus in this? <laughs> anyway. I've got a nice salmon cooking on the grill. If you'll get the lad and lass from upstairs. Actually, you know what? Please watch the steak for me. I will go get the I thought you were cooking salmon. Salmon steak, sir. Ah. Hey, Laura. I love you. We are married, after all. It appears as though the young sir and madam are not coming down for dinner. Well, they don't get a choice. Get the guy to get with texting a friend of hers. <laughs> what are you doing? Sorry, sir. And another one was concerned about his video game on phone. Well, tell them both that their phones can become flip phones if they don't come down here. Understood, sir. Yes. You know how to do it. <laughs> Get downstairs! This is not a choice. It is an order. Ah, uh, I was good right to hire Bertram. One of my chairs fell down. Well, eh, it doesn't matter. How's it going, Bertram? Hey, Max came down. <laughs> Indeed, he did. One of the better things to come out of those addle brain fools is this handy relocation machine. 
Well, I mean, the one of them is an animal brain. He's just like. I will not ask again. <laughs> you know, uh. Um, you wish for me to cease using a gun, sir? Nah, I just think they're standing at attention, kind of scared to move. Any. an extensible I, man. I taught, them to, I taught them to uh, obey you, like a. Like, you know how. They saw you as, like, a. You know, like a. Like a paid slave or whatever, but uh, I I designed this to be like more like a military school institution, and I, I got sick of uh, the disrespect. I will no longer use guns then. Excellent. <laughs> be aware, I do know how to use this. Oh, what am I kidding? Try as I might, there's no way to get rebellion out of the team. Well, I mean, they came downstairs. <laughs> They did indeed. They're With a bit of forceful persuasion. Yeah, but they both stood right at attention and I don't hear them I don't hear them bad mouthing you. No. And if they're smart <laughs> they won't be. Anyways. What's this? I didn't know I had to do lists. This is an unpaid bill. How the hell do I have an unpaid bill? It is a ledger from one of your clients. A, oh, the, the, uh, wait, a business client or a business client? A business client. Ah, you sir. mean uh, one of them snorting folks. Indeed. I thought I got rid of Hansel. I suppose you did not. Uh, of course, if need be, I would gladly do the deed for you. Also, Bertram, you know, your husband can move in here, you know. I mean, we have spare room. He's quite all right. We've got our own little slice of heaven by the cove. Uh, I just thought, well, since you, you barely see him and you stay here all the time. It's quite alright. Okay, awkward silence. Anyway, uh... Wait, where do you even sit? Why do we have this table? I never use this table. We never even eat here. I only eat here when you're not oh, around. Sometimes I'll drink coffee and eat some eggs in the morning to prepare myself for the day. Uh. If you don't mind, sir, would you mind corralling your children for dinner at the table? Huh? Your children, sir. Ooh, beer. Listen. Champagne, to be specific. Apparently I'm not allowed to drink this and it's become one with the table. But, uh, not the table, the plate. But, um... <laughs> I shall dispose of it, sir. Oh, but, uh, I need something to- I need to relax a bit after dealing with a bald moron and his gray-hooded friend. Indeed, so. Such a moron. You know, some FBI, CIA, whatever agent was at the door the other day, named Rick or something, said he had to and investigate the place. You didn't say anything to him, did you? No, I told him to leave. Turns out money can buy the government. I thought that it was a known fact. <laughs> he he kind of got upset that he had to leave. I mean, we're on actually good terms lately. Him and I are somewhat friends. Acquaintances, if I do say so myself. Wonderful. Mm. What is happening? Go well with some salmon. Um, ah, do we have potatoes? I... Simple lettuce. Oh, rotten garnish. Top it all off. And, if need be, I have a delicious pie baked for dessert. You're a great Dinner cook, Bertram. It... Thank you. Dinner is served, sir. How have, I, how have I never met you? How did I, I knew you all throughout high school. How did I not know your cousin? Not your cousin, shit. Your twin. We kept him a secret. He was rather... Let's say... Well, now he's friends with with another psychopath. Yes, unfortunately. And I wish it weren't true. Ah. Uh, uh, the steak fell. It's fine, I'll just eat that one. Yes, apologies, sir. My hands have gotten a bit rusty lately. I believe I jammed a few fingers fixing the pipes. It's uh, quite alright, Bertram. Well then, 
Everything is ready for your beautiful dinner. Where's yours? Oh, you... oh, I will be eating later. I have a couple of errands to run while you're at home with your family. What kind Specifically, of Specifically, taking care of a certain disloyal customer of ours, if you catch oh, my Oh, you mean Hansel? Yes. The guy I thought I got rid of from earlier? Yes. Ah, uh, so listen, I need you to take care of him. I need him to be set up where he will never be found again and never bother anyone. That is the goal, sir. Of course. Have you ever have you ever wondered if my wife's a vampire? I mean, you know, that's just a j she does go out in the sun, but it is kind of creep. Her eyes are kind of purple, and she does kind of hide in the shadows a lot. That is strange. But I assume that she has some sort of rare disease, or perhaps a genetic medical condition. Where are you going? I hear a noise, very strange, almost. I don't like the sound of it. Just yours ah, or my room? I get ew, lost sometimes. Uh, a king cobra lost in the pipes. A snake found our way through the pipe. Ooh! Ah, of course it appears did. to have bitten me. Hold on. Thank you, sir. If you don't mind, I'll go lay down for a little while. The poison is not going away. It's quite alright. Uh, you go enjoy dinner with your family. I'll be fine. Alright, Virgin. Have a good dinner. I'll uh, be back what? soon. You didn't, you didn't take your... F Hold on. All right, kids. I don't want to hear a single complaint. Any complaint requires immediate strict behavior. Now, I'm not going to kill you because I'm not an asshole, but I'm done letting you do whatever you want. We run a very strict family. What is happening? This is the LSPD. Go away now or there will be trouble. Excuse me? It appears as though the police have stepped at our front door, sir. How shall I greet them? Uh, don't, don't, I don't want to make a scene. Making a scene is never a good trouble. I don't want to make any trouble, you know. I want to raise sus suspicion. You need to leave. Sir, we have it under good authority that you're hiding some drugs in this house. We're going to have to search your building. Um, I can't allow that. Sorry, uh, how about I just give you a thousand dollars each and you piss off? A thousand dollars each? Yeah. Like hell you have that kind of money. Maybe, uh, fifty K each, five million each, I don't really give a shit. Five million to each of us. Yes. Yeah, right. Five million, you know, Kevin Cash, Cash co-owner. Holy shit, wait, that's this house? Yeah... Uh, we'll get out of your hair, sorry. Uh, off you go. Bertram, if they return, I want them both. I'm not buying this whole five million thing. Bertram, get rid of me. Now you're going to tell them. Should I alert his next of kid? His death. Uh, tell him he was, uh, no, uh, set up Hansel. Hansel did it, you know. Perfect. Let's get him over the edge, though. I gave him a warning. He didn't listen to me. You did give him a warning, <laughs> sir. I, I tried to end this peacefully. Anyway, I thought you had errands to run. I do. This time of day? Sure you don't just want to run him in the morning? Hansel can wait for no man. Ah. Some spooky shit right there. Close door. Where's Juliet? Oh, there you are, Jesus! Yeah, you heard me say your name and you came to run and... Why is there a car? Maybe it's probably just Bertrand leaving. Uh, it sounds like it crashed. I should probably go check on that. Damn, damn it, I'm pushing a chair. Without Bertram, I am so disorganized. Juliet, get out of the door. Now. Move. Can I have a normal night? 
I heard a car. Or I'm insane? Guess I'm just crazy. Oh! That's some creepy shit. No need for alarm, friend. Simply here to wish you good tidings for the future. Even though, let's be honest here, you're not going to want to see it. Oh well, everything's fine. You see, I have my nice security house, and I have a, I have these, this idiot, this spiral kid, and his friends killing everything. So I mean, everything is doing Jared, fine. and thank you so much for that. We're only a few days away from Malum's return. Sorry, Malice. Who I the hell is Malum? Well, I am Julius Malum, descendant of the original Apostle of Malice. And um, the future. Possibly. Um, I don't follow any of this. All I remember is that uh, the last thing I heard, last time I heard the name of Malum, uh, Octavia Spiral kind of like speared him to death or something. So, uh. Yes. Most disinteresting tidbit of our history. But needless to say, rejoice, for Malice will return, and it is thanks to you and you alone that chaos will reign again. Um, I don't think it's due to. I. I have been actively preventing your little uh, get-together of sorts. I fund the Abnormal Containment Team, which are doing a very fairly job of preventing you. I mean, hell, they just went back to the whole fun- Ah, what the hell? Sorry. I tend to get a bit antsy around these people. Who the hell do you think you are? I'll leave you a fun little creature. Stay Not right sure. there. You're going to have loads of fun with who I'm about to bring in. Now, please be aware, he is rather... aggressive. What is that? It's, uh... I'm not entirely sure. But needless to say, it's fun. I'll have you know, I served in the military. Why don't you play with me? Enough play. There will be ample time for that soon. Enjoy life while you can. And remember, Malice loves everyone. Because um. everyone can die for chaos. What? No, 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 Bertram isn't gonna like that this means I'm going- Wait, well, uh, what? How is it my fault? I did nothing. If anything, it's that hooded idiot's fault. Sir, everything appeared to be all right. Does the name Malum mean anything to you? Malum. Well, I think that's a medication by that name. Listen, uh, you have Julius Malum, your the, at, listen, the, at, the, 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 the disciple of the god of evil or whatever, the thing that Jack keeps warning us about, literally just showed up at my front doorstep with a monster. This, you're not going to like this, but... We're going to have to work very, very, very closely with the spirals. God. That's quite alright, sir. I believe, if anything, cooperation hey. would lead to a better relationship. But that listen, being said, you must forgive me if I attempt to throttle up. Listen, Bertram, you're gonna like this, because, well, you might listen. We're going to war. And you do Wonderful. well in battle. <laughs> Okay. I appreciate this. Um, so we must, uh... What happened to you, by the way? A friend gave me a little bit of trouble, but I finished him off. Ah, uh, classic car crashing into the water? No, more of a... murder-suicide. Ah, I see, I see. I'll see it in the papers tomorrow. You definitely... How about you come in and enjoy some food? Let's... Let's do that. It would be wonderful. Alright. 